Hi, welcome to Art by Galen. I'm Galen Eilenfeld. In this video, I'm going to show you how to be an amazing artist in eight easy steps. Number eight, drink lots of coffee. Coffee is the fuel of art and the fuel of artists, so drink it often and in large quantities. Coffee is also great because it gives us something to do while we procrastinate. Number seven, bring your drawing supplies to coffee shops. How else are people going to know you're an artist unless you do it in public places? Plus, the fact that they serve coffee there gives you a chance to refuel while you're there. So get out there and rub it in people's faces that you know how to draw. Number six, wear clothes that express who you are as an artist. If you're a fine artist, cover whatever it is you're wearing with a sport coat or a blazer. If you're a tattoo artist, that's easy. A simple pair of blue jeans, a black t-shirt, and a pair of Converse is the standard outfit for a tattoo artist. If you're a comic artist, why not throw on your favorite superhero outfit while you draw? But a good rule of thumb, no matter what outfit you're wearing, a fedora is always a good decision. It's also important to note that it's okay if you spend more effort on your appearance than you do on your actual artwork. Number five, keep your interests as obscure as possible to increase the mystery around you. This can be done a vast number of ways. You can get into obscure movies or books or music. The main idea is to make sure people don't really understand what it is that makes you tick. A side note to this, it's not important whether or not you enjoy that particular content, but just make sure you talk about it a lot. Remember, it's about other people's perception about you, not the real you. Which leads us to number four. If someone notices your uniqueness and criticizes or questions you, make sure everyone knows how misunderstood you are. Artists are always misunderstood. It's a rule. Nothing we do makes sense to anyone. Number three. Be as unorganized as possible. Sometimes we say we like the mess or the disorganization because we can find the thing that we used because it's last where we used it. But really the secret here is simple. If we lose it, it gives us an excuse to go buy new supplies. Number two, if there are other artists that you don't like, make sure to call them hacks, fake artists, cheaters, or something like that. Because if you're not bitter, you're not really an artist. And finally, number one, the most important bit of information. If a piece of art doesn't come out the way you had hoped, it's imperative that you not accept responsibility for it. So make excuses. Blame the materials you have. Maybe that equipment that you got isn't allowing you to do your best work. Maybe go back to tip number four and accuse the viewers of simply not understanding your work. But whatever you do, make sure that 100% that the viewers know that the outcome of your work is not under your control. You are simply a conduit through which the art comes and expresses itself to the world. Okay, so obviously this is satire. Obviously uh, this is meant to be a jokey video. Um, I'm sure there are some people that are going to take this a little bit harder than they should because it's just a joke. But like, I am guilty of doing every single one of those things in the past. I'm sure that most of us are, at least to a certain degree. Um, but this is meant to kind of tell us to lighten up a little bit, okay? It doesn't like, it doesn't require a particular image or a particular way of doing things to be an artist. If you're passionate about it and you're doing it as a hobby, that's fine. You can do it however you want. If you're a professional and you're going after a more technical approach, that is also fine. You can do it that way too. It doesn't make you any less of an artist. Other than just being a little bit stupid, I didn't really have a lot of reason behind making this video. It just sounded like something that would be fun. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. But uh, did I did I miss anything as far as these artist stereotypes? Like, are there are there more that you can think of, or maybe something that you've seen or been accused of that isn't you know accurate? Uh, leave it down in the comments if you if you've experienced that before, um, and or just let me know you thought this video sucked. Either way is fine. <laughs>
But uh, anyhow, I just wanted to do this and I hope you guys are having an awesome day. This was meant just to be, uh, you know, it's, it's a joke. It's just horsing around and having a good time. Some of these things may sting a little bit because we're guilty of them, but it's, it's just having a good time. Uh, and it's, as I said before, it's a reminder that we all need to lighten up sometimes and, and take it easy and, and go easy on ourselves as well. You know, things don't go the way we want them to all the time. We just have to pick up and keep going, you know? And um, anyhow, I'll quit rambling. I just wanted to share this with you. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Keep creating and take care.